If anyone would like one of my own J3 Android TV boxes, make sure to visit jm85.co.uk. Android TV made easy. Hello everyone, Jason here and I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic today. Today's video, I've got the top 5 working add-ons for Kodi 16.1. A lot of people have still got the older style Android TV boxes that can't be updated to Kodi 17 or higher. So this is for them. These are definitely worth having. They all work spot on. And if you would like to keep up to date with everything that's happening in the streaming and Kodi world, then make sure to hit that subscribe button below. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to work my way through each of these apps and then I'm going to show you how you can install them. We're only actually going to use two repos for this or two sources for this. So I'll work my way through starting on Joker Sports. And then straight away, we've got Sports IPTV at the top. We've got BT Sports section, Sky Sports, BN Sports. We've got Sports Replays, Mama HD, Official Highlights Channels. If you just click on the top one there, you can go through and you can see it's got loads of different channels in here. What you do though, you just click on these channels and these channels, the ones I've tried, and all, all have been working perfectly. So if you see a channel you like and it does work perfect, then click on that channel but keep your finger held down on it. You'll get this box up here and you want to add it to your favourites. So click on Add to Favourites and then you go to your next channel that you want to do. And then you're going to click on add to favorites. Mine says remove from favorites. That's because they are already in my favorites. But if you don't have that channel, it will say add to favorites. So you go through all the channels you like, make sure they work, and then click on add to favorites. And then your favorite channels are very easy to find. And I'll show you how you can find your favorites at the end of the video. Now that's Joker Sports. Let's move on to at the flicks. This is also from the same repo. So I'll show you these together. Inside here, we've got new release movies. We've got At The Flicks, Live TV. We've got 4K movies, Real The Bird. We've got 24-7. We've got Catch Up TV, At The Flicks, Sports, Live and Concerts, and loads of other things as well. So that looks good to me. You definitely want that in your box. And then this one over here called The Magic Dragon. We're getting that from the same repo. So inside here, we've got people watching where you're going to find the latest TV, not the latest TV, the latest movie, sorry. And then there they are. It works just like a search engine. You're going to click on what you want to watch and then it goes looking for it over the internet. We've also got new movie releases. We've got Catch Up TV. We've got something for the kids. We've got some music, some radio, some sports, TV and entertainment. If you want any of those three add-ons, then the first thing you want to do is scroll along to system and then click on file manager just underneath it. From file manager, click on add source at the bottom. And then in this box here where it says none, you're going to click on that box. And then you want to enter this exactly the way that you see it here, which is http colon forward slash forward slash maverick forward slash mav repo. Pause it here if you need to, but you want that exactly the same. And once done, click on this done button. Underneath it, it will automatically call it Mav Repo. So we just need to click on this button just here. You'll then see that in your list. So just press back once. And this time you want to actually click on where it says System. So click on System. And then you want to go down and click on Add-ons. From here, click on Install from Zip File. Click on the one we've just added, which was Mav Repo. And then click on Repository Maverick Repo. Once you've done that, just wait. You'll get a little notification in the bottom right-hand corner. There it is. Once you've seen that, you can then click on Install from Repository. And then look for Maverick TV Repo. Click on there. Go down and click on Video Add-ons. And then in here, there's going to be three apps that we want, or three add-ons. Joker Sports is the first one, so click on it. And then click on Install. Mine says Uninstall. That's because I already have it. But for you, just click on Install. Next, go to Add the Flicks. And then click on Install as well. That'll then start to download. And then near the bottom, we've got the Magic Dragon. Click on that one. And then you just want to click on where it says Install again. So there it is. Click on Install. It'll start to download. And then you'll have those three add-ons on your box very easily. We just go back. If you want to locate them, you'll find them in your video add-on section which is just there. You'll just click on video add-ons and then you'll find them inside there. 
The next two I want to go to are Placenta and Sports Matrix, but we'll just start off on Placenta. So first of all, click on Placenta, and then inside, this works exactly like Exodus and Covenant. So you, this again works like a search engine, like a site scraper. You just tell it what you want to watch, and then it goes searching the internet, looking for any copies of it. So we've got movies and TV shows, and then they're the categories of TV shows. You can go by network, you can go people watching, you can search. This is just the people watching section. This is the most popular. And then there you go, you can see what people are out there watching. As well as that, we've got Sports Matrix. So click on there, and then this is one of the best sports ones. Again, at the top, you've got 3 p.m. kickoffs. You got live sports, pay per view events, some sports channels, and then if I just click on 3 p.m. kickoffs, you can see what's inside, which is absolutely nothing because the season's ended. I should have already knew that, but hey ho, let's move on to the live sports section. So inside there, you've got the events of today, and if you scroll down, you can see the events of the next upcoming days. You've also got American sports, pay per view events, and a sports channels uh, section. So if you just click on either one of the sports sections, categories, you come to here, it gives you absolutely loads of channels. What I'd recommend is saving the channels that you like into your favourites so you don't have to keep coming to this list and having to search for your favourite channels. This is, there is actually 2,274 channels in here at the moment, so I'm just skipping to some that I recognise. So if you're from Canada, you've got Sportsnet here. I just click on the channel, make sure it works, and then once it does, you've seen it working, click on add to favourites. And then if you see any more you like, like there's TSN there, if you go down, you can see some NFL, NHL channels, Major League Baseball as well. If you carry on going down, you've got these Sky Sports. So again, if that's what you're into, you can click on these channels and they're all working great. I've tried them all before. Just click on the one you want, make sure it works and then keep your finger held down on the OK button which will give you access to that menu and then you can add to favourites. So any channel, any category that you like, if you just keep your finger, instead of clicking on it with the OK button, keep your finger held down on the OK button and you'll be able to save it to your favourites. If you want any of those two apps, then go to System and then underneath it you've got File Manager. Click on File Manager and then go to where it says add source, click on add source, and then in this box here where it says none, click on there and you want to enter this exactly the way that you see it here, which is http colon forward slash forward slash repo dot mrblamo dot xyz. Pause it here if you need to, but you want that exactly the same. Once done, click on this done button. Underneath it, you will need to give it a name, that box will be empty, so click on it, type in Mr. Blamo. And then once done that, click on this done button and then click on OK there to save it. Once done, you're going to press back once and then click on system. Click on system itself. It'll take you through to this page and you want to click on add-ons. You want to go down and click on install from zip file. And we're going to get two out of here. The first one, we're going to click on Mr. Blamo. And then we want to click on repository Blamo which is there, so click on that. That's the first repository we need. You're gonna wait for a little notification telling you it's being done. It'll be in the bottom right hand corner, there it is. Once done, click on install from zip file again. Again, go to Mr. Blamo, but this time we want repository pure repo. Click on that and then wait for the little notification in the bottom right hand corner, telling you it's done. And then now we can click on install from repositories. The two repositories we just added, the first one being Blamo repo. So click on there, click on video add-ons. And then you want to scroll down here until you see Placenta. So click on Placenta. And then where mine says uninstall, yours will say install. So click on the install button. It'll start to download. From here, press back a couple of times until you're back in your repository list. I think it's back three times and you'll be back here. And then this time you wanna click on pure repo and you wanna go down to video add-ons. And then right at the top, you'll see sports matrix. So click on that and then it'll say install. So click on install button, it'll start to download. And now if you go back to your video add-ons, you're gonna see them in there. So there's your video add-ons. And then there's the add-ons that we've just downloaded. 
if you did save your favourites along the way, or you, you are going to save your favourites, then this star in the bottom left-hand corner, that is where to find your favourites. So all the channels you've liked, make sure they work first. Save them to your favourites if you like them, and then every time you switch your codes on, you've got straight access to all your favourites. So that being said, thank you for watching. If you do want to keep up to date with everything that's happening in the streaming world, then make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you all later. Ta-da.